Oh, my Steam Deck has arrived, so let's open it up. Okay. Okay, so it's quite big. Not heavy. Alright, how do you power it on? This will be a handy travel battery for it. Oh, it's already lighting up. I haven't even pressed anything. Oh, something's happening. Welcome. English. I am GMT minus zero. Okay, here it is connecting to Wi Fi. Continue. Install it. Charger it comes with it says okay, output 15 watts. I was hoping it would just have a USB C on that end, but it's molded on. It's got USB C here. Shutting down steam. Uh, so perhaps this is the update actually being applied now. Ooh. Okay, now I have to sign in. Type in the code they emailed me. It's making a kind of clunk noise when I press the keys. Welcome to Steam Deck. This is the Steam button. Press to access your library, store settings and more. Press and hold to view Steam button shortcuts. Quick access button. View your notifications for endless quick settings and more. Power button. Yeah, it's around the top. Press and hold to access the power menu. Volume buttons. Yeah. Turn it almost all the way up. Last of all, down below is the micro SD card slot. By the way, this is the 512 gigabyte one with the fancy screen, supposedly. Have fun! Okay, recently played games. Bought that, haven't played it yet. 
Just wondering what would be a good game to play on her first. I guess what I'll probably do is play Aperture Desk Job. Play game. And so. Not do anything, we're installing. Oh yeah, we're downloading. Can we see anything? Do we get the normal graph? Oh yeah, we get the normal graph just like in normal Steam. Okay, well it didn't go loads fast in the other room. I can normally get on my PC maybe even up to 100 megabytes per second on a download. Um, but yeah, the most I got was like 8 megabytes per second in the other room. So maybe the... It's probably having to work harder to decompress than like a PC would. Maybe I'll try it on Ethernet at some point. But... If I go here, there's an exclamation mark. Is it focused? There's an exclamation mark here. And it just says there's already software updates. And I haven't put it on beta or anything yet. I need to check what the situation is with that. It's quite nice. There's, it's nice and you know, responsive settings. Preferred language, security, notifications, display brightness, okay. Maybe it turn off enable adaptive brightness. Audio, volume, Bluetooth controller. Test device inputs, begin test, let's play with that. Pull the left trigger. Pull the right trigger. Yeah. Run your finger across the whole surface of the left trackpad. And if it wants me to go up and down, of the right trackpad. I feel like I've pressed all ah, these ones. Press A when the left haptic buzz. Yeah, I guess they're buzzing. Test complete. Okay, that was exciting. Hold B to exit. Play. This game will use the official layout. Oh, now downloading content. Start options. Seems to be just on the Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't be bashful, it's true, no false modesty. Let's get started. I also feel like I want to turn on the various. Ah, look, there we go. Ooh, the numbers. Some of the numbers. So there we go, that's a new Steam Deck. I'm not going to play those games now, but that's just to show you what it's like when you get a new Steam Deck. The end. <laughs>